Hello! In this video, I will show you how to integrate SendLab with Tuberank Jeet. What social syndication will do for you in this integration is that it will allow you to quickly rank your videos in the first page of Google from your multiple blogging sites associated in your SendLab. People who are searching for keywords in Google, especially in the e-commerce category, are looking for content or reviews for products that they want to buy. For example, your video reviews a product explaining the benefits of buying that product, it will be on the first page of Google. People will more likely to click that link because it's one of the first few links that they will see in the first page of Google. In that case, you will get more traffic, probably more sales. Just remember, you must have a SendLab account to enjoy this feature. Log in to your SendLab account. On the left side, you will see the API key link. Click on that to view your SendLab's API key. Copy it. Then let's go to TuberRank Cheat to add this API key to our software. Now go to TuberRank Cheat's settings menu. Click the third party integration button. In this field, you may paste your API key and click the save button. Now you have successfully integrated your SendLab account to your TuberRank cheat. Let's try removing it so you can see the difference. When you have no API key saved here, the SendLab section will not be seen under the Optimize menu. Let's paste it again. In the section SendLab, you will be able to view every single and group account that you have created in your SendLab account. You have to set this up from there. Remember that you may only add accounts that you have made from your blogging sites. Now let's view per account. When we click on the single account, we are given a drop-down list in the account field. These are all the individual blogging service accounts that the user added in the SendLab account. From the accounts group, it will show us a drop-down list of all the group accounts that a user has created grouping together multiple accounts in a SendLab account. So as creating a one-click single syndication for those multiple accounts. When you optimize your video, you can syndicate it using this button. Now let's show a comparison of the accounts shown from TuberRank Jeet with the accounts in the SendLab account. So here are the accounts from the TuberRank Jeet And here we can view the accounts from SendLab. From the groups account, there are two group lists here. Let's compare it on SendLab. As you can see here, the first group has two accounts, like the blog names, WordPress, and Tumblr. While the other group, a test group 1, has five accounts, and we can check that in the edit button. So here are the accounts that are included from that test group 1 account. Going back to TuberRank Jeet, let's proceed to the settings menu. Under the third party integration settings, we may click the syndication reports button to give us a detailed report of the campaign's account, service, your posted video URL, if it's successful or pending. You may also compare it with your SendLab to check your syndication results. As you may notice here in the reports, the icon or the link under the post URL section of our reports is clickable, so you can be directed to that page. Here's a comparison of the syndication reports generated in your TuberRank sheet from the SendLab account. Let's try to optimize a video. As you can see here, I've added my own data, included SendLab, and now click Analyze it. And here are the recommendations. Just follow the recommendations to further optimize the score of your video until the value is higher. This is a high score, so let's syndicate it now. You should input a campaign name, the account to be used, then click Syndicate. 
it will generate in the bottom part of the tube rank that it has been successfully finalized. We can check it on the syndicated reports here in tube rank JIT and also in SYNLAB. So we can compare the syndicated reports in tube rank JIT4 and the syndicated reports generated in our account in SYNLAB. A few minutes later, the pending status becomes successful.